The next game that we're going to be playing, and, and if you want to follow along, you're going to have to pull up the Heroes Earth stream. It's going to be the Wheel of Doom. So this wheel is, is, is set with beautiful Heroes of the Storm characters that we all love to play, such as Murky, Gazlo, Probius... All, all, all the juicy stuff. Wait, why is it uh, called the Wheel of Doom, then? That sounds like the Wheel of Joy. <laughs> no, what the yeah. hell? For it's, some, the wheel, for it's the Wheel of Trixler. Yeah, for this yeah, is okay, there you go. my wheel. <laughs> so Trixler, Trixler finally, he gets to really flex the uh, the hero pool. But yeah, so we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna go to that wheel. We're going to roll. Each of you are going to get two rolls. Um, and then you're going to have two minutes to come up with a composition um while we make the lobby at least uh and then we're just gonna quick map quick match it right so we're not gonna draft you're gonna have two characters and then three picks along with those characters there'll be no bands um you guys can get creative so so we're gonna roll twice now what do we get i Here already rolled go. twice and we have to pick both of them right <laughs> okay so murky is the first one okay yeah so you have you have to play both of these plus three random ones okay oh, so the darn. first one is murky okay and then you have Gazlo. <laughs> okay, so Circus oh, yeah. Delight has Murky and Gazlo as the two required characters for their team. Right. And now we need to roll for Smilers. So looking at the wheel. Someone blow on the dice. No, no. Oh. Medic, Lieutenant Do Morales. Is coming? As the first roll. Manka. We got for the second. <laughs> Arterial. <laughs> Diva. Yes! Okay. What? You got fun heroes. <laughs> I want to play Diva. Can we trade our Gazzle for Diva? Yeah, so or nay? nay. Nay, nay. We could, if you guys, if you guys want to, we could do one more roll for each team. I, I would. I like. They it. already got the. They got Diva, plus three three rolls. Okay. Okay. Three rolls for each team. All right. So let's let's do let's go back and we'll so we'll do one more roll for Smilers here. So we have Diva, Morales, and rolling. Valera. Oh, that's a oh, you guys got a juicy draft. That is a spicy <laughs> composition. <laughs> that's Very a real spicy. juicy draft. Okay, so now let's yeah. see uh the Turkish Delight who their third pick will be. Tank Butcher. Probius, okay. Oh, oh so I got that body some kids with Probius. <laughs> okay, have, all right. uh, so we have uh it seems like a split push and a and a group push compositions, maybe, but so we'll, we'll get a do we do we have a map potentially smilers that you're thinking of right now after seeing these picks maybe you know the, <laughs> the haunted mines you know oh, yeah. uh garden of terror <laughs> garden of terror yeah i mean i love garden of terror mm -hmm. can, we, can we go to the mines yes yes yeah. haunted mines all right all right we're gonna be we're, we're really doing this yeah we're know, really you doing could this. Go to haunted mines and oh, should have banned the mines, do and now you you the mines. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh we are gonna disperse wait isn't that map like legitimately broken like they haven't scaled it up i, I hope it is i have no well, idea we're gonna find <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> they don't even work on that i hope that the map is broken good luck you can actually, everyone can see right now. So we got, uh, I, I believe we're looking at the Smilers. Yeah, we're looking this at the Smilers. On the, on the right-hand side is going to be the draft coming out from... It's going to be that... Oh, Mirror Match Deathling! He just Mirror Match <laughs> Yes! <laughs> and also, we got a hype train going, apparently. Uh, Naza, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Dear Lord. All right, uh, I think we're ready to go. I, I'm just going to push buttons. Go, go, yes, go. I'm pushing buttons. I really Send them into you. the mines. <laughs> The Minds of Doom. Gustavo, thank you for the 1,000 bits as well. Thank you, thank this you is... everyone for supporting. Oh man. Supporting the, the prize pool here. We're 15% through those bits. Three. So as you guys can see, the CCL show match bringing you the juiciest Haunted Minds you've ever seen. I mean, <laughs> did, did we just, how did I even, this isn't where I parked my car. How did I even get here? Like, Well, they didn't ban it out. Me? That's how we got here. Yeah. They didn't ban out haunted mines, and they and they're letting casters decide things in a sense. Like, <laughs> come on now. On the left hand side, Ghost think with the two hundred bits. Uh, on the left hand side, we got the Smilers down in our best of seven series. Best we're gonna be on the Deathwing. We've got Moon gonna be on the uh, Valir. We've got Alora on that Diva. Big Scoop is gonna be on the Lieutenant Morales and Lake Fu on the Sylvanas. And looking at the Turkish lights, we have Kai on the Rhaegar, Trixler on his favorite character. In the game, probably Murky, the Turk, Rock Nagazlo, Mockery on the Probius, and Leon Black on the Deathwing. I'm just gonna say it. 
because I'm feeling it. We have two Deathwing mirror match on Haunted Minds in the year mm -hmm. 2020. Yeah. Look at him stand on that platform. He's about the size of it. <laughs> Naza, with the 3,487 bits, thank you so much for supporting the, the prize pool. Thank you, everyone, for, for taking part in the hype train as that's Valir diving in. That's actually going to be Vesper diving in as well. This is just both Deathlings <laughs> in the destroyer form using their incinerates at the exact same time. Probius is throwing just, just punching the, the hell out of each other. Look at me just chasing Probius away. Like, this is just absolute shenanigans. Like, it, it just, there's. We just watched this unfold as Turk is going to not make it out alive as Allura just bodies them on this diva. Kyberius has to get back as well. And uh, this looks like the first engagement paying off in favor for the members of Smilers as Rackham comes in with the five gifted subs. Oh, thanks so much, Rackham. Welcome everyone to the crew. Yeah, we, we really, I mean, Diva hasn't even taken a talent or am I seeing things maybe? Uh, just playing Mine. a talentless game here as well. <laughs> My uh, is busted. It doesn't show anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has pro Lazy. moves at level one. It's, I think it's because I'm using Ali Obs. Okay, okay. Uh, Lazy Hydra coming in with the five gifted as well. Thank you so much, Lazy. We got a train going as well in the chat. Ooh. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, no, it's so it's so weird. Like, there's camps on this map. Like, I just saw somebody bribe a giant, even though there was five people there. Trick, I'm looking at you. But... You know, the real question that we really are all asking ourselves is can Deathwing fly to the bottom underneath mm -hmm. the ground? Well, here's right? the thing. So in in the way that this map is technically designed is it's actually stacked on top of each other, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, if I can actually properly zoom all the way out. Hold on. We might have a fight. Okay, no. So literally, if I just pull down, this is Haunted Mines. Mm -hmm. This is it. Like, they're right next to each other. So yeah. technically, they should be able to land Is it into coded it? that way, right? Like, is it coded? I don't know. De Deathwing Did was they... in... Did they intend to have Deathwing flying around on this map? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm ready for this exper experiment with with, all, with yeah. all of you in chat, but Leon taking a whole lot of damage. This might be first kill for, or excuse me, oh. another kill for the members of the Smilers as they're coming back into game number two here, Mac, with a vengeance. But right now, uh -oh. we got Turkish Delight running it down in bottom lane. They do not care here. They are probably both going to die. I, I doubt Turk even is concerned about the five or four heroes running at him now. He is just Whoa. looking to take down this fort. And we do have actually a 5,000 bit here as well as Turk goes down. Will Trick bang out a slime for the bits? He does indeed. <laughs> Yo, Metal Magic coming in. Thank you so much as well. Some more get this up from Mr. Falk. I appreciate all the support, guys. Level 5 hype train as well. You guys are really Woo! killing it. For the Thank Haunted Minds so too, right? Oh, man. I just want to say this, we went up roughly, it, uh, caster math is kicking in, we went up like 30% in the bits during just this this, this really? five minutes of this game, so thank you all at home for cheering on these teams as Moon finds a kill into Probius. Will they be able to get out alive? Absolutely, because Big Scoop's got that little heal beam on them, and our minds will open up. Here I we go. Think Deathwing, actually, Vesper just landed over uh -oh. here, uh, so they're actually, he's in, no, he's they're... out. I'm waiting to see when Leon Black takes off because I think Vesper still has the quite a bit of cooldown left on them. And they're taking uh, a lot of damage here to the turret. <laughs> Morales, Alora, something goes down, burn him. Oh my nope. goodness, Leon, Kai just praying that she could heal, but she can't. Wait, we actually see Diva. Wait, Diva. Okay, Sylvanas goes down to Mockery here on Probius. Is Mockery just a underground? Probius man? <laughs> Did we just I was just I was just watching a murky versus a Deathwing. I'm sorry, like this <laughs> like Vesper versus Trick is just hilarious scale wise. But right now uh, uh, we, we are gonna be having uh if anyone is unfamiliar with this map, if you haven't if you've no idea where we are or why we're here, um the, the, the way that you play this map is you grab these uh, these uh, skulls in the mines, those build up for your skull golem. This oh, is gonna no. be red team in the bottom lane, blue team will be in the top lane, and once you there's a hundred or all all of the remaining oh, skulls. No. This will be a spawn <laughs> for the Make it stop. Mockery respect the 1v1. How could you? <laughs> Murky, um, Murky goes down to Valyria in bottom lane really quickly as the uh, the fight continues to break out down below us in the mines. Uh, Deathwing, I mean Deathwing can fly out. Deathwing can also Cataclysm inside the mines inside too. Inside the mines. Big Scoop actually getting caught out here. He might be able to get taken down. We need another slow here. Vesper team coming. Oh wait, so he can fly from the mines into the mines? At least these that, are that the is questions. Confirmed that I ask myself at night when I go to sleep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ad, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. 
This is uh, this is probably the be best casting you've seen in here as the storm ever. It's just it's just pure chaos. Is honest to god, I'm trying to keep up with what's happening around the map. I don't know. You Murky's are... splitting bottom. There's a fight going on. Murky's in the mines. There, there's two deathlings flying around. We have a Sylvanas. That's our team is gonna start bunkered. In, he's not even bunker dancing. He's mind dancing. Alors getting slowed here. She she's trying to knock people around, but deathling says nay. And yeah, Sylvanas is also splitting bot lane, right? Can Trixler one v one the boss? We're Maybe gonna find out here shortly as he starts whopping away. Yeah, Kyberry's coming in. Uh, okay, I was about to say, do you have safety bubble there, Trick? Oh, yeah, they're, they're absolutely fine. And uh, oh my, oh, oh. god, <laughs> this boss does not play around. I mean, this Maybe? boss hits for 262 yeah, in auto. <laughs> he's, he's, he's hitting as hard as Sustukov does, it looks like, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Yeah. 10 talent tiers is running the corner for both these teams as well, about a level for the, the Turkish Delights. A little bit more so for our Smilers is that we'll be the last of the Skulls gathered. So as we said beforehand, blue will be spawning in top, red will be spawning in bottom, and it uses the respective uh, Skulls you picked up to power or buff your, uh, your, your Grave Golem. And it seems like the Smilers are just going to hard push top lane. So I this is so. the this is the, the magic of the Haunted Mind. So while... The objective, and this is very similar to Braxis, while the objective is definitely favored towards Smilers, Turkish Delight also has an objective, and it's spawned in that bottom lane, right? We got that fort early, the clamps were given to that bottom fort, uh, and, and now we have a big push, and the clamps are running it down. Tin is coming out here too. Big Scoop actually might even be taken out before, and this is all of the sustain. Leon does a great job running through the boss's stun, you know, unstoppable by the way. A great cat cloud them to get out of there as well. Kai maybe getting taken out here. We are just going to see them try their best to run away. As you can see down in the bottom lane. Yep, here we are. This is this is a race. I mean, we're off to the races, as they say. <laughs> Murky with the march of the Murky. Murlocs on the left hand side of your screen. They end up getting picked off. <laughs> there's a dragon breath. There's a Murky march. There's a boss down here. Divas chilling. What is I can't comprehend all of this information. And there's clamps in the bottom lane. You can't if sleep on them. If you wanted to, if you wanted to know the relative uh, power for these grave golems, in the top lane it's going to be roughly 600, in the bottom lane it's going to be roughly 400. So there's about a six or a 200 uh, difference between the damage coming out from these two grave golems. I didn't look at the health pools overall, as this will be Trixler mounting up and able to get away. Lake Fu and Vesper so very low. Meanwhile, in bottom lane there was a pick on to Gaslow, but they find a kill oh. in top lane onto this uh, onto the Sylvanas, and they also get the keep in bottom lane. Grave golem on core which means there'll be constant catapult pressure coming out for the members of Turkish Delight in bottom lane. I don't. Okay, so maybe you know this, maybe you don't. Is the bosses are the bosses on this map still spawning on the lane they ran it down, or does it switch now? I do believe it switches. I believe okay. it takes like Braxis, Braxis, uh, Braxis holdout okay. rules. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we'll see. We'll see on the mini map. Back in my know. day, you know, it was you just, just if that boss lane. was. Yeah. yeah. If that boss was on the core right there. <laughs> you know, next objective. They're just saying we just got to get this mm -hmm. boss done, and 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 this game is over. I might be wrong. I honestly, I have not casted a haunted haunted minds game in ever. four years. I think, <laughs> I think legit in my casting career, I've never casted a haunted mind games. I don't think. Uh, but this is. Oh, uh, that's a really good slow into Moonface. He was able to get out of there. Deathwing tries to get the AOE with the incinerate to at least reveal them. Not going to be able to. But I, I, I mean. Probius going into the Null Gate is not something I expected. I kind of expected pile on overcharge for more damage, but if you can slow them down and lock them in, it seems to work out for you. Yeah, that pylon would have been pretty good for taking out that uh, mine boss as well, right? Underneath, mm -hmm. uh, setting them up. And also, you know, mind you, Probius is fairly solid, even Gazel on this map, because they can set up their pylons or even their turrets to kind of act as wards to give them more information. The map moves so quickly and yeah. it's so small that just knowing where the other team is at kind of gives you information on where you should be at. I'm watching I'm watching all these fights, like I'm watching just them rotate around the map and I'm waiting to see them like when's a good time to jump into comms? Because I think they're gonna look for 13, so <laughs> we should it, do it right now. Let's do it right now. Uh, let's go, let's join Smilers. smilers. Yeah, 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 let's check go Smilers. Right we still need uh I'm ready to fight if we can. We just need to get 13 and then we can go. Here we go. Okay, Drop. there we go. Drop them. 
getting zoned. Wow. <laughs> the murky old actually bloody. Uh oh. They're so low. Oh. We just don't want to chase them to their shit. Ooh, oh my goodness. Core. Mac, did you hear the the, the panicked Heroes the panicked save. button mashing of of Tim in the in, in the in the meta pack? Is like all you hear is you hear the like the wah, and then you just hear E being mashed in the background. I love, like, I love Tim. Please. Tim comes out of that fight and just says, "Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I I didn't even know. No one knew what was going on." I, I hear a little, uh, or, uh, it was Lake Fu it was like, I'm getting zoned by the <laughs> Murlocs. Like, what is happening? Oh boy. All right, well, we, we see some skulls spawning here. They're actually going towards that Turkish light side. This that is advantage. 50, 50 some plus as they actually find a kill in the murky and top lane. Are they gonna try and just run it through? Yeah, this is this is a pretty normal strategy here too on the Haunted Mines. Like, Essentially, in order for the bosses to spawn, they have to kill that main boss, and it does, it takes a little while. So, a, a strategy that a lot of people opt into is just pushing the wave. So we see the little guy down there in the hole, but yeah, just push the wave and and, and just try to go all out. We might even be able to pick up Turk here. Ooh, the slow showing up just a little bit too late. The fort should go down here. A nice cataclysm coming in from Leon Black on the side. Everyone just kind of hanging out in it. Not where you really want to be at. Big scoop. On the other side too, in the enemy's base, that's where team very weak on the side there as well. They're probably gonna be not be able to knock him out of here, take him out. So Wanus is taken down as well. Probius goes down, maybe was able to take out the Sylvanas trick, doing the best job he can to Merc and Merc and Merc again. He does go down, activating that passive, swanning at that egg that's been sitting there on that easy camp all game. Just hanging out, just doing his thing. He's gonna go back to puffering the bottom lane, creating some pressure on the core. And meanwhile, bottom lane, casual, you know, triple catapult stealing somewhere in the 200 <laughs> range. You got 233, so Vesper's going to be landing over here. This, These siege giants actually are going to take a little bit of the... Oh, no, the, the wave came in, so it actually retarded onto that. Probius, or excuse me, the uh, Murky getting picked off there. Going to provide them a little extra experience, pushing them towards that 16 talent. Bottom lane, full golem. And as we said beforehand, it does oh, swap boy. lanes. So this is going okay. to be top lane. It is going to be crashing into a keep front gate. It's po and it's it's possible to hold here, right? Yeah, absolutely. It is possible to hold. It's going to be insanely difficult because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like they have a Jimmy right click or anything like that mm -hmm. to, to have Ace in the hole to burn it down. They're, they have a Valera. They've got a Diva. They've got a Sylvanas, which I'd say is probably their most amount of damage into a, into this uh, into this grave golem. I just want to be able to check on this bottom one because I want to just be able to compare the two really quickly as it spawns and just, come on, you can do it, bud. <laughs> so bottom lane, let's see. Bottom lane's gonna do 164 in auto. Top lane's gonna do 170, 178 in auto. Wait, we got a juice. We got a juice happening. Oh my goodness. They just go for it, right? I mean, will in, the whole in, seven seven series, go in for it. the baby diva form, even pumping out as much damage as humanly possible. Will she get CC'd out? Big scoop. The silence is connected. The three man silence. Big scoop goes down, but we are at 80% core now. The breath coming out from the Deathwing. Vester Dean doing his best. Allure is going to be able to get another mech form off at least. Lake through taking a ton of damage from the Merlin. But is she going to go down? Moonfair is in his smoke bomb as well. Vester Dean taking so much damage from those Murkies. And Allure. <laughs> I got to leave. I got to take a walk. The juice is loose. I joked about it, <laughs> but it ends up happening in the end. The juice comes through. We go up 1-1 in our best of seven series. Hell you yeah. activated my trap card, <laughs> you boy. A hundred souls. Guess what? Your core is dead. By the way, good job doing the, 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 those skulls. Those skulls in the bottom. They, they, who does those anyways? If there's a way for a Haunted Minds game to go, <laughs> that is the way that I want it to go. That was, I, I loved that so much. But before we get into our next series, I do believe we have a break coming up so we can let these players run to the yeah. bathroom, bathroom themselves break. another dad pop or mom soda, whatever you want to call it. And uh, 
we can get ourselves set up for a game number three. It's going to be one up on both sides as we have a thousand bits coming in from O'Malley Music. Thank you so much. But we're going to go ahead and take a small break. We're going to get ourselves set up for game number three here in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. We got more Heroes of Storm action coming right at you. 